Welcome everyone to this daily Sidereal Astrology Forecast. This is for Tuesday, June 21st, 2016. I'm Athen, and this is for Sidereal Astrology. If you are new to the channel, be sure to check out the link down below because the signs are different. All right, so we are still in this full moon energy of Sagittarius. In fact, the moon will still be in Sagittarius here today, emphasizing that free-spirited energy. So this could be the free-spiritedness on the external environment, which makes it a great day for maybe going for a walk, uh, connecting with nature, that kind of a thing, or internally, which is maybe studying philosophy or spirituality, basically anything that opens our minds. So that's exactly what Sagittarius is about. It's about opening our minds to possibilities and seeing things in a new light. Because when we are open to those possibilities, we then see things we didn't see before because we're attuned to them. All right, so I think it's still great with this full moon to continue with that. The moon is going to go over Pluto today, emphasizing the power of change with this, and that could be changing that perspective, flipping things upside down, seeing them in a new light, right? And I think it's a great day for that, particularly about diving deep within self, because Pluto is about the deep psyche, seeing where we might have some old worldviews, some old perspectives that are best let go and released. And it could be a very powerful day of change for that. And I think just a powerful day of change anyways, you know, any, anything that would require you to step into your power to make some change along the life journey, I think is excellent today. Uh, but it does come from that inner examination and that openness for change. So this is, I think, more of a positive thing because Pluto has been very well aspected uh, this week. In fact, Pluto's trining up to Jupiter and the North Node, and that aspect's going to go exact over the weekend. So as we approach the weekend, there's even more of that support for that change, and I think particularly that change of perspective. Now today, it's very strongly emphasizing that, so that's very supportive. And I think what we're learning about too, because the North Node is involved, and Jupiter's a very learning type of planet, you know, we gain wisdom. But what we're learning about is this type of self-expression, this new type of self-expression that has been shifting this year for, for each of us individually, with the North Node shifting into Leo. So this is about what gives us joy in life, what we enjoy, maybe interests, maybe hobbies, creative things if that's the case, maybe just expressing ourselves in a new way now. So it's great to access that and great to treat it as a learning process, you know, to, to understand that this is an energy over the next couple of years of learning more about that inner spark. But I think today, expressing ourselves, doing these things we enjoy and expanding on that level. Now, this is um, also seen in terms of learning because the Sun and Venus have been shifting into Gemini. In fact, this is very important because Gemini does ground that Sagittarius energy. So Gemini is about the practical, right? Ju uh, that Sagittarius and that Jupiter energy is about open possibilities, theoretical things. But Gemini is about taking the theoretical and making it practical, taking those possibilities and actually living them. In fact, this is a great way of working with it. It's great to treat life with the Sun and Venus, I think, in Gemini as a learning playground. You know, it's the twins, it's lighthearted. This can actually lift us up. You know, when we see things, when we see life and experiences as an opportunity to learn, that really does lighten things up. And I think that's a great way of working with it. I think we can enjoy perhaps doing some reading, maybe some writing, and it could even be social because Venus is still involved. So it could be uh, exchanging in those relationships in an inquisitive manner of exchanging ideas, learning from one another, that kind of a thing. All right, so very much emphasized. I think it's great to continue with that practical implementation of all of these, what is right now this more expansive worldview coming in, perhaps about our life, our life journey, etc. So that's going to be the strongest energy, that moon going over Pluto. Great day for change there uh, with all that Sagittarius stuff. And uh, the moon is going to be sextiling up to Neptune the first half, so it could be easy going, which is nice. Now, I do want to say, though, that we're in the middle of all this Mercury Grand Cross energy. Mercury's going over that Grand Cross we had with the new moon a couple weeks ago. So from yesterday, Mercury was opposing up to Saturn, squaring up to Neptune. And so this has been the importance of having that mastery of the mind, the centeredness with the mind, and even centeredness with the communication as well, and detachment, presence, letting go, right, of these mental concepts, of these things that the mind might project or create as a layer between us and our experiences. So whatever it is, I think it's still great here today to have that centeredness, 
that self-mastery of the mind through awareness uh, as we continue to integrate this grand cross. As we go into tomorrow, Mercury is going to start to square up to the Jupiter North Node conjunction. So this will be more about integrating uh, this expansive view. But today, a lot of support with that expansive view. Um, I think the more so, the, you know, the more willing we are to dive deep and to see where we can make change, where we can accept these deeper things in our life, which might be fears or inhibitions for change or old world views that we're letting go of with Pluto can create more space for what can be these new beginnings unfolding today. All right, so I hope you guys have a fantastic day. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you all tomorrow.